Hello, I'm Ian from Clarity Classical Pilates, and in today's edition of Am I Doing This Right? I'll be going over the single leg circles. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you some of my favorite tips and tricks for doing this exercise. Let's get on the mat. This exercise is done lying flat on your back with the one leg up and hands down by the side. One of the very first considerations of this exercise is your flexibility. If your leg isn't able to easily get up to a 90 degree angle, you have a couple of options. You can bend the leg that's down on the mat, which as you'll see here, greatly increases my flexibility. Or you can also bend the leg up in the air, keeping your second leg flat on the mat. Both of these modifications will help you eventually get to the ultimate goal, which is two straight legs, one flat on the floor and one straight up at 90 degrees. The next thing to pay attention to here is external rotation in the hip or keeping the hip rotated outward throughout the entire exercise. Rotate it open so that the knee is facing out from the body and then you're gonna circle across, around and up. And notice how I hold at the top each time. This gives me a moment to check that my hip is still externally rotated. Hold at the top, open it, and go again. The classical number of reps is five times in each direction for each leg. After one side is finished, bend that knee into the chest to give yourself a really juicy stretch, bringing the knee into the shoulder, and then extend it long on the mat and start with the second side. Another important part of this exercise is isolating the leg and the hip from the rest of the body, meaning that only the leg is moving. Your hips and your shoulders are staying still on the body. They're not rocking wildly. One great tip is to take your hands and put them on your hip points. And as you circle the leg, feel for if your hips are moving. Once you feel confident in that, you can put your arms back onto the floor and really press the hands and press the arms into the floor. This is gonna help you stabilize even more, isolating that leg, allowing for a nice smooth, controlled circle. Placing the hands on the hip bones is a really great way to reveal how much your hips are moving while circling, something that can be harder to tell when your hands are just down to your side. If when you do this test and you do find that your hips are moving a lot, simply decrease the range of motion. The primary goal of this exercise is not about creating as large of a circle as you can, but about controlled, precise movement and isolating a single part of the body and being able to move it on its own. Allow the range of motion to be dictated by the feedback that your body gives you. As we get more experience within the Pilates method, you'll naturally find that the range of motion will start to get larger and larger. It can be a fun exercise for those of us who have more experience with the single leg circle to go back and decrease our range of motion to something smaller and more controlled. This in particular is a great way for those who are more flexible to challenge themselves again, to practice restraint within their own movement and flexibility. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're interested in more content, please like, comment, and subscribe to the Clarity Classical Pilates channel. I'll see you next time on the mat.